Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here to talk to you guys over a little bit of my face, actually. And uh, I'm just going to go over the two quick reasons why I'm doing this. Basically, why I'm actually here in the flesh is, one, because I really felt like I had to get back to my roots. Back to the kind of what I started as. Um, I think I might do this maybe once a month, maybe twice a month if I get around to it. It is a little bit more more difficult to kind of edit and stuff, but I really feel that uh, I want to bring you guys the best content, like I was talking about in my last video. I want to bring you guys the best content I possibly can. And you guys have really been supportive to me, so I'm really going to be supportive to you and support your need for Dr. PlayStation Nation content. So, guys, I promise you, I will be bringing you the best content ever. And this is how I want to do it as of now. So, this is going to be uh, maybe once or twice, uh, two videos a month I'm going to do like this, and all my other ones are going to be gameplay related. Also, I felt that this topic really wasn't justified by you guys watching me beast with, I don't know, a M4A1 or something. So, I really thought that this was the best kind of uh, setting to talk to you guys about this topic. Second reason, a lot, a lot, a lot of you guys just joined the nation. Welcome to you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your stay. Uh, in the nation. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, we just got a huge boost, I think, of 80 plus subscribers at this point. We are at 276 as I'm recording this commentary, which is awesome, guys. Welcome so much. Thank you to you guys. You're awesome. Anyway, so basically what I want to talk about today is SOPA, and I'm no little. I'm a little bit late to the party on this one. I also want to talk about Mega Upload a bit. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And I also want to talk a little bit about torrents, because a lot, there's been a lot of confusion about why the Pirate Bay wasn't taken down opposed to Mega Upload. So, let's get started before I run out of time. The camera may stop during this, because my camera is stupid right now, and just won't continuously record for like 10 minutes. So, anyway, let's start. Basically, if you guys don't know what SOPA is, SOPA is the Stop Online Piracy Act. It's a bill in the United States, I repeat, in the United States, not worldwide here. Uh, to some degrees it may affect you, but if you're, if you're, as long as you're not uploading, I don't know, the CS5 Master Collection and you get frickin' 2 billion hits, I think you're gonna be okay. Um, uh, saying that you're outside of the States. If you're in the States, you're in the fuck. Uh, if SOPA gets passed. But, basically what SOPA was, was a bill that was kind of made about a year ago, super vague, and it basically insta-fucked anybody that had anything to do with any pirated content on any website. If you uploaded it, you're fucked. If you downloaded it, you're fucked. If you had a link for it, you're fucked. If you, if your friend Jimmy sent you a link to it, but you didn't even touch it, you just had it there, and you had intent to go download that, you're fucked. That's basically how it worked. It was way too powerful, guys, and that's why lots of people had a problem with it. It was way too vague and gave pretty much any corporation a reason to shut down any website, as long as there was somebody talking about their copyright and they didn't have permission to do so. So that was a big problem with it. They went through a lot of refining stages, refined, 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 and then finally we get to now, where still it is really vague and kind of gives corporations too much power because, as you guys know, corporations are greedy. A company like Pepsi might uh, take down a video, basically as an example of what SOPA is, if I made a video about Pepsi and said, Pepsi sucks, I hate Pepsi, Pepsi murdered my family and gave me cancer, I don't know, maybe I made a video about that. Pepsi can come along and say, hey, you used the word Pepsi, that's our copyright, take the video down or take the entire site down, which that was an extension of their power at the time. They could take an entire site down, that IP could be taken down. And that was really overpowered. That's like striker overpowered. That's like that's like stopping power in Modern Warfare 3 overpowered. That's, that's like a lag switch overpowered. I don't know. I'm trying to trying to get some equivalencies over here. But basically it was a bad thing. Lots of people had a problem with it and still do have a problem with it. Problem is, lots of people now that have a problem with it don't know why they have a problem with it. It has been hearing from a lot of YouTube videos, which are kind of misleading, and just say, YouTube's going to be taken off the internet if SOPA gets passed. YouTube is not going to get taken off the internet. Some videos which contain a lot of pirated con or sorry, copyright content, or videos that say, hey, this is how you get Sony Vegas for free. Those videos might get taken down. But videos like this, or by any commentator, those will not get taken down. So, anyway, that's basically what SOPA was. And as of recent, it was about to get passed, literally, <laughs> literally a day away from getting passed, it was going in, it was going to happen, everybody knew it. But then millions of people rallied together in the United States and they said, no, you congressmen cannot decide what we want. This should not get passed. This is what the American citizens do not want. And it was an amazing moment for America and there was 
confetti and balloons and strippers and hookers everywhere. Beautiful moment. Didn't get passed. Awesome. But that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So there's still a stress over SOPA happening because uh, it's, it hasn't gotten completely pushed off the table. It's just gotten pushed down the road a little bit. So anyway, now SOPA's over. Basically what happened immediately after that was Mega Upload got taken down. If you guys know what Mega Upload is, it's a file hosting site. Personally, I never used it for pirated content. I didn't even know you could pirate content off it. I didn't know that was a huge thing. I, was, I could see, like, maybe a couple of people are uploading songs and stuff to there. But for the most part, I used it for flex gaming videos. That's how I submit flex gaming videos. I used it for dual commentaries with people. And I used it for getting files from school to home when I forgot my flash drive. I would just, a project that I have to do, upload it to Mega Upload, and get it when I get home. That's what I used it for. And it got taken down, and I was kind of surprised at first, did some research, watched some YouTube videos by some big commentators, and I probably already know who I'm talking about, and learned that the whole, the whole mega upload kind of marketing scheme was based on piracy. And the fact that uh, when, okay, basically mega upload encouraged piracy because for their clients, like a mega upload user, if you uploaded pirated content that got a lot of hits and a lot of downloads, because Mega Upload's making a lot of money off this, uh, based on the ad impressions, because Mega Upload is making a lot of money off this, they said, okay, let's encourage this further. Let's pay people for content that's going to get a lot of hits. Really, this was a really transparent business tr strategy because who's going to upload something that's not pirated and gets a lot of hits? There's not a lot of people making their own original music that can upload it to Mega Upload, like maybe iTunes or something, and they, may they would definitely make more money off that. So it was a really transparent business strategy, and that's why they got taken down. I'm kind of hurt about it, but I'm not crying about it. I know that Mega Upload was in the wrong here, and I really feel that it's justified for the FBI to take down the website. There's plenty of other file hosting websites, guys, for those of you who are going through the straight and narrow and actually using Mega Upload for what it should have been intended for. And there's plenty of other sites, and that's what I'm using. I'm going to either be using RapidShare or, uh, I don't know, Dropbox, something like that. Anyway, so that's what happened with Mega Upload, and a lot of people were kind of confused about the fact, and this is the last topic that I'm going to talk about, lots of people were confused about the fact of why Mega Upload was being taken down, but not something like the Pirate Bay, because the Pirate Bay was much, is much huger than Mega Upload, and has way more pirated content. Quick little torrent lesson, the reason why the Pirate Bay wasn't taken down, the Pirate Bay doesn't break any laws, at least as of now. If SOAP was passed, damn, it's breaking so many laws, it's... It's a clusterfuck of federal law breaking right there. And basically, what, basically the reason why the Pirate Bay is not being, or not breaking any laws, is because it's not hosting any files or any pirated content. In, instead, what's hosting, it's hosting portals to people's computers who have pirated content who want to share it with other people. And that's what it does. So you have a pirated, a pirated file on your computer, you want to share it with some other people or a broad spectrum of people, you upload the link to your computer so people have access to your computer to pull files from there, the pirated content, and put that on the website so that people can find it. That's what the Pirate Bay does. The Pirate Bay does not uh, personally own any of that pirated content. They just give other people access to other people's pirated content. And because they have ads there, that's how they make money. So technically it's not illegal. What Mega Upload did was they personally, people uploaded the pirated content to them, to their servers on US soil. That's why they got fucked over. So anyway guys, hopefully that kind of clears something up for you guys. It's kind of something that I want to talk about because I know a lot of people were getting wrong information or they were just getting a watered down version uh, because lots of people aren't educated on the fact. I highly suggest that you guys go educate yourself if you guys are in the States and are really hearing a lot of mixed opinions. Anyway guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my face. This is what I look like. I'm the doctor and I'm out. By the way, puberty does magical things. Peace.